Hello, 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 and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn about the differences between Airtable and Google Sheets and help you make the best choice for yourself. Both of these tools have amazing spreadsheet-like interfaces, but cater to different needs, and both can be combined with no-code tools like software to transform spreadsheets into web apps. So first and foremost, what is the difference? Airtable is a spreadsheet database hybrid with features of both spreadsheets and databases. It also includes innovative features like a variety of field types and many templates. It can act as a relational database to link records bonding different tables together. Google Sheets is a more traditional spreadsheet for storing and organizing information. It is a modern Excel which can be used for collaborative teams due to its real-time updates. Imagine just having a online version of Excel. This is pretty much what Google Sheets is overall. But what is the difference between a spreadsheet and a database? So a spreadsheet is a two-dimensional electronic document designed to store, organize, and analyze data, like an electronic version of paper. Databases store, organize, and analyze information, but in a way that is more dynamic, scalable, and reliable than spreadsheets. Databases have advanced functionalities and are suitable for various use cases. Spreadsheets similar. Spreadsheets are familiar, easy to set up, great for crunching numbers, but are limited in terms of data types. When I look between my Airtable base versus a Google Sheet, I have a different feeling in the way that they work, especially when it comes to that top row signifying properties rather than just a top column in a spreadsheet. And the ability to click into something in a database is pretty clear as well. But what are some of the pros and cons between Airtable and Google Sheets, i.e. what are the pros and cons between databases and spreadsheets? So for databases, some of the pros is that it is easier with large data and is ideal for scaling programmatically manageable and is versatile for a lot more use cases. The ability to have all these properties, all these formulas just make a little bit more sense inside of a database rather than having it in a spreadsheet. Now, some of the cons is definitely the learning curve and the fact that payments required a lot of the time in order to get a quality database subscription rather than the free for spreadsheets. And it is a time consuming setup and it's sometimes it can be pretty rigid. Some of the use cases, however, include things like this content calendar, project management, which you'll see in various different options across so many different templates that you'll see inside of a database system like Airtable. Not only that, you also have things like sales CRMs, e-commerce, inventory management, and HR. Airtable is one of the most popular database tools on the market and connecting it with tools like Softer can improve your experience as you can build a front end for your data without any code. Then when it comes to spreadsheets, uh, it's familiar. That's one of the main pros and it's pretty easy to set up. It's great for numbers and calculations and it is free or in any case inexpensive. And it's also great for charts and graphs. I mean, you'll just see here, it screams free. And, and we all love that. Some of the cons are definitely the limited data types. It's less secure and it is not ideal for long-term storage. And it doesn't look pleasant in large data sets at all. You can solve this, however, by using software, by connecting it to a front-end experience. Some use cases definitely are businesses needing to do basic accounting, general data storage, and for educational purposes as well. Now, when it comes to Airtable specifically versus Google Sheets, I would say that Airtable has a dynamic, intuitive, and customizable interface with various options to view from and a huge list of templates. It also comes with a very nice marketplace to integrate with. However, when it comes to Google Sheets, it is also simple, clean, and pretty instantly recognizable as a Google product. It's useful in the sense that it has a myriad of different integrations as well with the entire Google suite. You'll see every plan for something like this if you're gonna get it in more advanced plan of Google Sheets slash the Google Workspace, you get everything else even for the free version. And it's also just simple, clean, and useful out of the box. When it comes to usefulness though, Airtable is more useful for large relational databases, dynamic use cases and collaboration, just the ability to collaborate between all of these different tables inside of this one base is pretty huge. Whereas Google Sheets is useful for quick and effective data storage and organization. You can see just from a basic level inside of Google Sheets that this template is pretty simple in comparison to what you're gonna get 
from an Airtable base. Both do have great collaboration features with Airtable having additional collaboration specific features such as comments, mentions, and personal views. Google Sheets allows offline work, whereas Airtable does require an internet connection. Now, when it comes to no code integrations, both Airtable and Google Sheets, as I mentioned earlier, can be connected to no code tools like software for UI creation. And overall, Airtable does have more integrations, including Zapier and its third party no code tools with its API. Google Sheets has a fewer number of integrations, but it is well integrated with various apps, especially within the Google suite. From a complexity standpoint, I won't lie, Airtable is much more complex, offering numerous features and ways to organize data. And while that means there's a learning curve, it also means that the peak of that learning curve for you as a user is gonna be better. Also, Google Sheets is easier for users to get the hang of. It's no secret that anyone can go inside of a spreadsheet and kind of understand what's going on with minimal learning curve in comparison. Google Sheets is pretty much gonna be free from a pricing standpoint, unless you want to go to that business tier, in which case each user is gonna be 10 to $20 per month, but that also also adds a lot of extra features in the entire Google Suite on top of that. When you're finding the best database tool, both Airtable and Google Sheets are really effective. Airtable may be better for more complex use cases and Google Sheets is free, intuitive, and can get you started right away. But it's ultimately up to your preference. The deciding factor between these two is gonna come down to the use case that you have specifically. If you're looking for an even better experience using either Airtable or your Google Sheets data with software, a no-code platform you can build a front end and improve your experience using with this tool. You can try it out for free today by going to software.io and checking it out today. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe for more content like this one on how to improve your skills using software, Airtable, and more right now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.